hey guys hey welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this look these are 36 inch locks y'all like them y'all like them yeah i love them get out of my video keep watching okay everyone so these are the plaits that i have in my hair and i'm gonna show you the actual three days later before i even put the other hair in my head but i moisturized my plaits with uh this <laughs> this natural shea butter and pure coconut oil and i also use some medicated anti-itch spray on my hair all right so right here these are those same plaits about four or five days later i had did some locks in my hair they i used the cuban twist hair and the free tress water hair it hurt and i just took those out so i decided to try the extended locks and here is a picture of that hairstyle that i took out i had in for about three days And again, these are the parts that I'm going to be using to do this new style. And the hair that I'm going to be using is the Bobby Boss New Locks in the color 1. And I'm, they are 18 inches long, but I'm going to be extending them so they can be 36 inches. And I'm about to show you guys how I did that. This is how they do it. So this is how I extend the locks. I take two of the Bobby Boss locks hair, 18 inch, and I take the end without the loop, and then this is the end with the loop of the crochet hair. Okay, I take my crochet needle, stick it through the desired part of the end of the hair that you, you know, the length you want, and push it through. I don't know why I was having such a hard time pushing it through. Anyways, then you take the loop end of the hair, put it on your crochet needle, close the latch hook, and you slide the hair onto the other piece of hair. And it's gonna kind of look like a, a X chromosome or whatnot. But anyways, so after that, you take your hair. I'm just straightening the hair out so it doesn't look confusing. Um, this piece of hair is in the way, but I pushed it down, and I'm going to take that same end of that same piece of hair that's on the end of the needle, and I'm going to pull it through itself. This way, it creates a knot, securing the hair in place. So, to secure the hair even more, what I do is I take the hair, and I pull it a little bit tighter. And I'm going to take my small tooth comb and I'm going to comb the end out. So combing the end out, and don't worry, especially if you're doing the messy locks, don't worry. You're going to comb the end out, and then I take two pieces and I separate it. Some people I've seen, they braid it. Some people, you know, they do not. But I take those two pieces and I just tie it in a little small knot, not even a big one, just tie it and bring it down. And then I take it. And I put it on the other side and I do the same exact thing. I tie it, pull it down. This is to make sure the hair is very secure and it does not fall out. You do not want to have locks falling out. We have some 18 inches and some 36 inches. So next, I take the hair and I just twist it on itself. And I just twist, 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 twist it on itself. And that's the bottom part. And then I take the top part and I do the same exact thing. Twist the hair on itself. My, lot, my knot looks a little big, but majority of them just do not come out that way. And then I palm roll. Palm roll and the hair starts to basically intertwine into itself. I messed up a little with twisting the hair up there. Is always the ones that you want to try to show be the demonstration the demonstration that messes up but anyways 
after um, doing so, I still mess that up. But, um, that's, you guys get it. You'll see it. It is very easy. I take some of my got to be glued spray and I pummel until the hair is on itself and then repeat the stuff. I recommend doing this before doing your hair. So you have a secure lock there. And there's your 36 inch lock. Okay, so right here I am moisturizing my hair and just, you know, rounding and moisturizer. So keep my hair protected with this protective style. And I'm taking some shining gem and I'm putting it at the base of my hair and just flatten it with my comb to make it look neater. And then I'm gonna flat my hair halfway down, not even all the way down. Sorry, my fingers are in the way, you guys. I, I really rush doing this. Okay, so right here, I'm pushing the hair through so I can make the loop bigger when I go to open up the loop because, you know, the crochet hair can be very small. So I'm just basically spreading open the loop to the crochet hair. And right here, I'm taking a crochet needle and it got stuck in another one of my locks and it really hurt. It hurt. But anyways, I'm taking the needle and I am pushing it through my plait. And I'm taking the crochet hair and I'm putting it on the needle. Close the latch hook. And then I am pulling the crochet hair through. After which I take my plait and I'm going to push it through the loop of the hair. And then I'm going to pull them both together tight. I didn't do anything with my hair you guys besides just wrap it up. So I took the hair from the Cuban twist hair and I spread it apart. After spreading it apart, I basically take the hair and curve it a little, just a little part, put it under my braid, and as you can see that the, my hair and the other hair, I just basically have it twisted around each other, not tight or anything. So I take the hair and I just wrap the cubic twist hair around my crochet piece of hair and my plait, and I just basically continue to wrap it until I wrap all the way down. Thank you.